everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to bring you part two of everything i've ever colored and um i i'm not sure how long of this will be i've got quite a few pictures that i've done in some of the books i'm going to show you so again i'm going to try and make it under an hour so this is most likely going to be part two and then there'll be a part three afterwards so you know get yourself comfortable get yourself a drink if you want to just fast forward things or uh, no skip parts that's absolutely fine i don't mind if you want to do that um obviously i'm not going to go into massive detail talking about the pictures here and there i might tell you a few things about them that i can remember and things like that i'm mostly just going to show you what i have already colored so we're going to start with hannah lynn and i'm going to show you everything i've colored in her book so far um and it's funny because when I have like a little like tally chart that I have with the books and then what pictures I've done just so like I can keep track of like if I haven't covered in a book in a while oh I can see I've only done one picture and so maybe I should come back and do another one and I felt like with a lot of the Hannah Lynn books it really feels as if I've not really covered much in them but then I realized I have like 12 Hannah Lynn books I think so that would be the reason <laughs> like I've covered quite a few of her pictures just like it's quite tricky when you know, you've got several of her books. So this is Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies, and a Fantasy Coloring Book. I have the bigger version of this. There is the pocket size, but I went for the bigger version. So this is more like her earlier work. So the lines, line art is very thick, which I don't particularly like, but um, I did this lovely autumnal themed fairy. And I really like how she came out actually. And I really like her yellow wings. There's Posca and Stickles on there. I think I used the um, Coe Nors for her, which um, I don't use those very often. And I really should. And then the only other one I've done in this book, I believe, although I wish you double check just in case there's another one, um, is this one. This is the first one I think I did in here. Um, and she's got some stickles on her. Um, I've tagged a page, but I think that's just because... My intention was to come and do it, and I haven't, so there's that one. Next I have Enchanted Halloween. Uh, I don't think I've done loads in here. Either most of the Halloweens I tend to have done, like, between one and maybe four pictures, and some of them will just have, like, one or two in. And I think, because this is only one that I tend to colour when it's Halloween, so there's this one. A Trick or Treat Princess. And she got gold in her candy barrel instead <laughs> instead of like sweets although it could be maybe like gold chocolate coins or something and then I've got this like uh wolf girl one I think I did her last year maybe I think that's all I got for the Halloween ones so far so obviously as Halloween is around the corner I'll be doing some on there so next I have mermaids fairies and other girls of whimsy um I think I've just got two in this one so there's this one which I really enjoyed doing her making her look like the Snow Queen. She's got very shiny dress. I put some of the, I think the Clearo Fine Tech paint on her, and then of course her stickles, because you know, you gotta have sparkly like, I don't know, mountains or whatever. And I don't quite know what this is about. I'm assuming maybe. Um, this isn't like, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's like icicles or something. I have no idea. It's been that long since I did it. And then I have this one, which was the first one that I did in this book. And she has got some lovely stickles on her. Um, yeah. I feel like this one's okay. It's not amazing. But, you know, it is what it is. And then I have a Whimsy Girls Christmas. I've done a couple in this one. So we'll flip from the back because there's one in the back. So there's a partridge and a pear tree. Um, I do get two versions, like, you know, two, you know, pictures in this book of them. So I'd quite like to do this again just to make her, like, puffy pom-pom thingies on her hat actually fluffy because they're kind of not fluffy <laughs> in this this one. So I quite like to do that. And then I've got the hot chocolate fairy look at all the beautiful stickles that I put on there and I use the gelatos actually to do the background for this and it's nice and shiny it, I really liked doing that that was fun um I've got the sugar plum fairy which again I think I wouldn't mind doing again and not giving her creepy pink eyes that kind of make her look a bit creepy <laughs> and um she just has a, a shiny metallic background because just why not 
Um, I've got this one. This I did for the Christmas July that we just had. Lovely summer themed Christmas picture with KP. It was a buddy colour. Um, yeah, I just put lots of stickles and things on that. I love it. I like that one. And then I have this one, which I did last Christmas. And I really like how that one came out. I think it's one of my favourite ones I've done in here. And again, there'll be some more that will get done in that one. As we get closer to Christmas. So next I have Fairy Tale Princess and Storybook Darlings. This, along with Maui Mermaids, was my actual first Hannah Lynn book. Because her why not got a bit thinner for me so this is a recent one which i just finished which you'd have seen in my computer picks for august so it's one i started uh while ago to show you how to color white or how i color white dress or one of the ways i do it um and she has got lots of one kiss stuff there on her dress she's very pretty kind of wedding dress i would want want very sparkly so i've done that one um i've done the queen of hearts I think I did this during the first lockdown that we had in the UK <laughs> and I had my Derwent um, light fast and this is like, I mean I had to use them in a different page first but this is like one of the first picks I used them in and that was quite fun. Sorry if I keep knocking the camera, I'm sat right next to it and it's really easy for me to like whack. Um, then I think this is one of the first ones, I don't think it was the first one, I think the jasmine one was the first one I did, but this is the blue fairy. Again, I kind of feel like I would do her a little bit different now. Like I don't hate how she looks or anything. I just feel like I would maybe do it a bit different. So luckily, again, you get two images of both. So in the future, if I ever want to do another one, I can. And then this is my jasmine one, which, oh my God, just let's take a moment to appreciate all of the stickles in this because it's beautiful. I didn't realize I put it on the cushion. Apparently I did. Um, yeah, I love, love this picture. Again, um, her, you can tell this is an earlier one for me in terms of how I've done her hair. I would completely not do her hair like that anymore. Um, and the only thing I would change, I think, is the background. Let's try to make that look a bit better and the misty thing look a bit better but other than that I still love her dress and the carpet and everything and even the sand I think looks really good and then I think there's just one more and it's Cinderella and again her dress is very sparkly we've got some Calero paint on there you know she's got to have a jazzed up carriage and I love the moon as well everything is just so beautiful so that's very tale princesses. I like this book because I just feel like you can use so many stickles on it because they're princesses. So, you know, you can. So this is Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls. I've done quite a few in this one. There is this whip here that I still haven't finished. <laughs> I think it's, I don't like how, I don't know how I would do the C now that I've decided to use, um, um, alcohol marker for it so yeah I'm gonna have to see what I can do so this is the first picture I think I did and mermaid has got to have sparkly you know mermaid tail um I did use some alcohol markers for this I don't really use alcohol markers so much anymore now I did and then we've got this lovely lady she's got a little bit of stickles on her not a lot I like her um Oh, I can see there's one here. And I've got this mermaid with stickles in her hair. I think this was like quite a basic one that didn't take me too long to do. Uh, oh, I've got this one, which I think I did fairly recently, like in the summer, maybe for mermaid, maybe for mermaid I did this one. Um, and then I've also got this one. I think this was a buddy colour with KP, so I think I did this this year. So I feel like I've done a few, yeah, I think the last, this this one, that one, and the, um, and maybe one other one I think I've done this year. Already, I've done at least two from this one this year, um, which is quite cool. And yeah, I like how my sea, I think I used like watercolour to base the sea and the sand. I didn't use like a marker or anything. 
no i just used some paint which was quite cool so yeah i like i love the water in that one and then i have this one as well so clearly this is the one i've done the most pictures in i think out of all of them and i love her hair her hair you can see how different i color the black hair now <laughs> from those other earlier pictures anyway it doesn't look that great whereas i love how i it I, to me it looks like it's really shiny and i really like it so yeah i really enjoyed that one and then there's a, a little bit of stickles there on the sun and then the flowers so i think that's everything there's any more no so that's everything i've done in maui mermaid so that one's i've done the most in then i've got steampunk darlings i know i did one this year which was this one um because i haven't colored in it in a while i've used some like uh turner acrylic gouache glitter which kind of is okay i mean i just got it to try it out i wouldn't say it's amazing so i won't be purchasing it again it looks pretty nice and glittery just here i feel i must have gotten like a good patch of it on the on there um i think you're supposed to use like a a scraper or something i don't think you're supposed to actually use a paintbrush to or like a palette knife i think is what you're supposed to use to apply it <laughs> rather than a paintbrush but I use paintbrush um this was body color with sammy and kp and now i don't know if either of them finished theirs but i certainly finished mine um and i had to put the you know neon green stickles <laughs> on i think this is the firefly stickles i had to put them that on her like whatever she's making um so the other one i've done from the steampunk one is in the um creative no coloring heaven magazine because you got extra pictures in that one. So I showed that last time. Next I have Victorian Darlings, which I know is a very abandoned book because I think I've only done like maybe two in here. So I've got this one. Lovely stickled up lady. Um, I think I have a whip as well in here. I'm gonna go from the back now. I might have two whips actually. Now I think about it. <laughs> I just don't feel that, I just don't feel the Victorian one as much. Like, I don't hate it or anything. I just don't like the designs as much. I think I'm not as into Victorian stuff. So yeah, here we go. Here's a, I started this on my channel as well. I was using gouache and I still to this day have not finished it and I really need to. So you know what? I might actually try to actually come back to doing this one. Um, I don't think I'm gonna finish up my channel though. Sorry guys. I mean, I expect you've all forgotten <laughs> by now anyway. I think this was the first one I did and it was a buddy colour with KP. Um, and yeah, look at all the beautiful stickles. I really like the surface one, it's really cool. So, there are some cool ones in here. I just, well, the bakery one's quite nice, I like the bakery. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think that's all. I think that's all I've done. Just those ones next i have mythical maidens and curious creatures i haven't done very many in this one well, i have done one recently which was this sphinx one and i very much enjoyed putting this isn't stickles though i think the gold that i have here is the just gl the glitter glue from pandoro it's like a craft shop in in sweden um and they their gold had like kind of different colors in it like red green maybe a little bit blue so i quite like but it has slightly different colours in the gold, so I used it for this. And then, of course, I had to put some stickles on the lamp coming up there. I feel like the um, it looks better here than it does on the one in the jasmine picture. I mean, that's what I think anyway. But yeah, I should have added some like sparkle on the on the gems. That would have been quite cool because I didn't do that. So yes, I really enjoyed doing that one. That was fun. Um, I have got. My Amazing Phoenix, this is one of my favourite Hannah Lynn's I've done. I just love how it came out. It's very pretty. Um, and I actually used the Arteza brush mar pen markers. Now, unfortunately, my Arteza brush pen markers all dried out. <laughs> so um, I didn't even really get to use them. So I'm a bit sad about that. Um, I would quite like to get the Kuritaki ones at some point. I hope they don't dry out either. I mean, I'll try and store them in a way that they don't dry out. But I would quite like to get those at some point. Because I feel like it's quite nice to do, like, the brush thing. So now the only thing is, is it did, did bleed through a lot. So obviously best to use for single-sided only. I think that I used a marker, an alcohol marker on the red, though. So, 
I think that's what I used for that. But yeah, I love that one. Just, it's so pretty. And I think I have one more, yeah. This is the Gaia one called Mother Earth. And again, this is Buddy Colour. I think this was actually with KP and with Colouring with V. I think we all did this one together. And I've put a bit of washi tape around the, as a border. And there's those of Winkostella all in the water. The thing is, I do feel like over time the Winkostella probably comes off because it like rubs off on the opposite page. I think that's all I've done in this one. But yeah, I need to, I should come back really because it's quite a lot of nice pictures in there. Now, I have this one, Whimsy Girls Work. work. I haven't coloured anything in there. Not a single picture have I coloured in that one, which is very unusual for me because I usually always colour at least a picture in Hannah Lynn. So for some reason, I've just not felt so inspired in that one. Now I've got Whimsy Girls Through the Decades and I've only done two. I've done this really cool 80s girl, which I had quite a lot of fun choosing some colours. I had a look at some 80s like leotards so I could figure out what colours I wanted to use and I used like pink and this like kind of tealy green colour. That was fun. And then the other one I have is this mechanic lady and she's quite cool and I'm so annoyed. Now I have a dropper that I can use to actually drop splashes of paint, splashes of paint on. I didn't at the time. <laughs> I was trying to make it look like oil grease and I'm really sad because like it doesn't look that amazing. Um, <laughs> but oh well, it's fine. And I drew um, these cogs in with the stencil, which I have, haven't used. In fact, I've got quite a few stencils I've never used. I should really try and bring them out a bit more. Um, and then I've got Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays. This is the last Hannah Lynn book I have. So I don't actually have all the Hannah Lynn books. I uh, I think there's the tatty one I don't have, and I think there's one other one that I don't have. So I think I must have just done maybe, no, I've done two, I think, in this one. Here is the St. Patrick's Day one, and she looking, she's looking very cool. Love the rainbow, love the sky. No stickles. Well, actually, there is stickles, because there's stickles on the gold. I was about to say, there's no stickles. No, yes, there are stickles. Um, and I think I did a Chinese New Year one as well, but now I can't see to find where it is. Hit, oh no, it wasn't, it was Mardi Gras, here we go. Mardi Gras, because it was in February, and my birthday's actually in February. Um, I'd love to go to New Orleans, actually, for the Mardi Gras. That would be really, really cool, and I think because it's around my birthday, and there's not usually a, fe a February half term in the school year, so, I mean, it might not coincide with Mardi Gras, but... I could go or try, you know, because obviously Easter's different days. It's never the same <laughs> day. So sometimes early February, you do get Mardi Gras. So potentially I could do that. So that's all the Hannah Lynn's. So um, I have this Misfit, Misfits, uh, a fairy colouring book, number four uh, by White Stag. And KP bought me this for Christmas, which is really lovely. In fact, I've actually only done one picture. And this is uh, Wind, apparently and didn't quite know what to do with the background so it's a just whatever I fancied but I really like the girl and I love how sparkly her tides are so yeah I haven't done any more in this one but um it's really sweet there's lots of nice pictures so actually I guess a time when I don't want to spend forever doing a picture but that one's really cute I should come in and do some next I have this goddesses coloring book by Marty Noble which is by Dover um, I've only done one because it's a relatively new one, but there's so many beautiful pictures in here I'd love to do. So I have done this one, which is ba Bastet, who is an Egyptian goddess. And I really like that. I love that I went over the hieroglyphs with a dual metallic uh, pen by Pentel. So it's like blue and gold, depending on what colour it is in the light. But yeah, I like that one. came out nice. I really want to do this one. Um... Nice. Next, I have some Creative Heaven, or Haven, sorry, coming books. Um, I've actually just ordered the, to, the new Teresa Goodridge one. It should come out in the UK at least in the next few weeks. Um, of course, I probably won't get around to coming it for a while. So I've got Christmas Charm. I think I've only done one picture, which was this one. And I like, I use these like, they're not fine lines, but the Twee Marker pens that I got than the other Arteza Twee markers. I think I used them to do all the like pine needles, which was really cool. So um, that's something I think I quite like to use again in the future. So I have this awesome train. There are some stickles on the candy, some lots of glitter gel pen. <laughs> 
so I think that's the only one I've done in here because I find with Christmas because I've got quite a lot of Christmas coloring books and I tend to really just color at the end of November and December I tend to not get much through time to get through my Christmas coloring books so there's a lot country Christmas and I've either done one or two in here so I've done this one the door and it's got a bit of sparkle on there um, and that may be the only one I've done in this one Oh, hey, I started. I started this one, but haven't finished. Um, yeah, I feel really bad. <laughs> I've only done one. I've had this book for quite some time as well, like a few years. Okay, so I have to come back to that soon. Next, I have the Nutcracker Designs by Marty Nabel. Um, I think I, again, I've only done one, and then I've got a whip in here, which I've never finished. Um, come on now, where are you? Oh, here we go. So I did this one. I think this one was a buddy colour with KP. And then I think the other one was also a buddy colour, the whip. And she finished hers, but I haven't finished mine. So I should probably try and come back and finish that. Because there's not tons left to do, to be fair. Uh, next I've got autumn scenes. So hopefully I will come and do some in this one. I'll do now. Sadly, going into the autumn time. I, I You know, don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to the whole autumnal feel and things but I just not looking forward to it being cold and uh, you know I'm just sad I really wanted to wear my summer clothes and I haven't really been able to this year um so I did this happy thanksgiving one and I feel like I have done one more in this book oh yeah I've done this one a scare a scarecrow is a pumpkin snowman type thing a pumpkin man <laughs> um yeah, that's look quite cool. Uh, I think that's all I've done. So yeah, I should, I'll probably do some more in this one in the next few weeks or months even. Now I've got Main Street colouring, also by Teresa Goodridge, and I have done two, but I really want to come back and do another one in here because I actually really like these. So this is the first one I did, which was Ava's Bridal Shop, and loads of people liked how I did the dresses, so I tried to do some tutorials. <laughs> But I don't think I finished, so really sorry that I didn't do that. I just find like quite a lot of the time when I colour, I just want to sit and colour and watch TV. Like I don't always want to sit in front of the camera and colour. So I have been trying to think about doing another, you know, uh, not colour and chat, but like a colour along video. Um, but yeah, I just haven't haven't got around to doing one yet, and maybe one day I will do another one, but. So now it is a what it is. So I've done the cheese shop as well, which I did in one day, which I was really like impressed by myself with. So I did this house of cheese one. Um, I used, I like looked up some pictures of what a cheese shop, you know, at the facade looked like. So I could kind of be inspired in terms of how to do the building. So I think sometimes that's what I struggle with is like, what color do I do the outside of the building? <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really fun. Enjoy doing that. Plenty of cheese shops where my grandma lives in Cheddar, because that's where Cheddar Cheese is from. I've got lots of cheese shops there. So here is a nice little town Christmas too, which again is an abandoned book. I love it, but it's just, you know, again, it's coming, having the time to do them all. And there's loads of Christmas pictures to choose from. So I've just done this one and hopefully I will come and do another one in it sometime. Um, I'm going to double check though, I'm pretty sure I've just done that one. Yeah, and that leads me straight to Nice Little Town 6, the only Nice Little Town book apart from the Christmas one that I have. Again, I've only done one picture in here. I need to come back because there's so many cute pictures and I've, you know, just, def I mean, as much as I like the pictures in the other Nice Little Towns, I just thought, knowing how slow I was at, you know, getting around to doing one in here, I just thought it's best to not buy any more of the books. For the nice little town series, so I have done this one, um, and I quite like the colour scheme I chose, it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Next I have August Reverie. I have the second one not coloured in it. Have I coloured any more in this one? No. Um, I do love the pictures in this book, but I just feel like because I have, you know, like most people, too many choices, it's just one that's not the forefront of, oh, I want to do something from here. So um, I've just done this, like, Egyptian lady. Maybe it's Cleopatra, I'm not quite sure. Um, and again, I've used the Faber-Castell gelatos because 
I find they're easy to use on big areas because when you've got to get into tiny little detail areas like around here the flowers is quite tricky it's quite because they're quite a wide blunt like tip it's not easy um but yeah so i've done this one and i do like this one it's very pretty uh but yeah not any more than that next i have gods and goddesses which i do want to get back to actually because i do love gods and goddesses and i have done this one demeter so um I was just, no, I can't think of what I was going to say, but I've just done this one and hopefully again, I'll come back and do some more on that one. Okay, next I have Kanoko Agusa. I've got Rhapsody in the Forest, the first book, and I've just found out that they're going to do all three of the books that she's got in an English edition. That only took them, what, six years to do that? Well, you know, regarding the first two came out quite some time ago, the newest one hasn't so to be fair i think it's probably about, about the right amount of time for that one um and i am very tempted to definitely at least get many bits upon her in english edition just so i can have a second copy with <laughs> because like it's been a while since i did some of the pictures in the first book i feel like a couple of them i wouldn't mind doing again uh that being said i may also get another copy of this one potentially um, so I have done this Easter page in that one. Um, I've got this page I did last autumn with the owls and I can't remember what the fruit is called. A gooseberry or something. Um, it might not be a gooseberry actually. I'm not really sure. Um, got this double page spread that I did a few autumns ago. Like I think two autumns ago now. And I remember I got my Caran d'Ache Super Colour Softs and so I used them to do like just the background stuff. So the brickwork, the grass and then the blue or sky because I was just like I'm not going to sit there and do that all by pencil. Um, I've got this lovely Halloween cat going trick-or-treating. Um, do do do. Oh, yep. this is the rabbit and this is the first one I did I did um I stenciled this in and he looks quite cute holding his bunch of flowers I think that might be everything for that one yep so that's everything for Rhapsody in the Forest next I've got Many Wits Upon Her this is the first book I had of hers and the one I've done the most pictures in again so this is why I wouldn't mind a second copy because like I don't hate like this pitch for example but I did it quite some time ago part of me feels like actually I would choose to do it differently and that's just basically what it is I think it's just my skills have changed a little bit since I got it and I wouldn't mind you know doing some of the pictures over like um I do love my chess pieces and color scheme for this one but yeah again this would be one I wouldn't mind doing again i love my little fountain it's so cool so i really do like this page so the only thing is i was trying to make water this look watery and i couldn't do it with the paint i had so i guess if i could do that one again i would perhaps do that uh but i don't really feel like i would want to change that one so this is a buddy color again with kp um actually that chess one was a buddy color with sammy and kp so that um was one of the most late i think i did this one last year and then i i've done more recent ones since but i hadn't touched this before so i think this was the first picture i did so i would definitely want to do this one again because again i just feel like my skills have changed or, or like how i color things i think is very different so i feel like i would want to do that again not that i hate this picture by any means but I just feel like I would want to change it up, do it differently. Oh, and this is one of my favourite ones in this book. And I used watercolour pencils and a little bit of watercolour paint for it. And I really like how it came out. I'm really tempted to do the seashell one next to it as well, even though I think it would take an absolute age. And I might get bored of colouring shells. But, and I love this one as well that I've done. This is one of my favourite ones in here too. The bunnies. I just love how the fur came out as well on them. I think the only thing I would change would be the grass. Make the grass look a bit, I guess. Try and make it more realistic looking. Doesn't mean I could achieve that, but that's what my aim for that would be. 
um, to try and do at least and then this is my latest one that I've done and I really wanted to make these two look like Apollo and Athena <laughs> so there's that one um, and I think that might be everything yeah oh and then there's this is um sort of like tile page this was, actually this was the first thing I coloured I did this and I remember I got the little Holbein pastel set um, and I used that um, to colour, like to test things out because I hadn't really used them before so I used them a little bit on that so there's that one next is Symphony of Cute Animals her newest one and I've only done two and this um, the I love the table spread but I hate the background <laughs> um, the, this bottom bit's fine but I hate the top bit so part of me is tempted to buy the English edition of this just to redo this page but I don't know if I will May maybe we'll see um maybe if I have to like because you have to have if the book's less than 10 pounds you don't get free shipping unless it's 10 pounds for book size so maybe I'll buy the other one just so I can do that and then I did this page in the springtime and I really enjoy doing that one with all the flowers it was really fun to do so and that is all I've done in there. Okay, right, next I have this Japanese colouring book of basically sweet treats around the world. Um, I haven't done anything new in this one, so it's probably just what I showed you last year. So this is the Japanese food spread. Um, I really love colouring the food in this book, it's really fun. So I've done that one, and I think I've got a France and an England page. I should really come back to this actually, so. Oops, so there's a France one. I think this is the first page I did. I really do enjoy colouring food, I have to say. And then I've got England, where I drew in the correct flag because they gave us the British flag. And when it's England, it's this flag. When it's United Kingdom, well, Great Britain is that one. So there are differences between our flags. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. And I think I drew the the pattern on the table i think there were some lines on the table i think i put the, this pink one in myself um but that was quite fun doing the afternoon tea set do you like a bit of afternoon tea uh it's quite expensive that's because you tend to go out to have afternoon tea you don't really tend to have it in your house anymore back in the old days you did so i've got this mickey travel around the world book which you can trace the lines as well um i have done two pictures in this one I should again one I should come back to do more often I did this one recently um I just thought it was really cute um so this is the Netherlands and it's got the two like Mickey Mi Minnie doing the kiss so this is like a you'll see quite a lot of uh like crockery that's got the delft blue color on it so this kind of color scheme and there's these two like boy and girl this boy and girl these two kids that kiss so that's what they've done with the Mickey and the Minnie there and obviously it's very famous for windmills and of course tulips and I had to do the tulips orange because orange is very much associated with Netherlands. <laughs> if you see their football team they wear orange uh, shirts and things so it's like one of their co country colours. So I thought orange tulips was very fitting plus it goes with the blue quite nicely. And then I have done this Australia one which I really enjoy doing and I put I did this pattern on his shorts myself. Which I was very proud of. So there's everything I've done in that one. Oh, next we have Aries books. We'll be here a while. I've got quite a few in here. So this is Romantic Country, The First Tale. Um, I do have second copies of all of the Romantic Country books in the Japanese edition because the paper is um, different and more toothier. And I feel like I can actually use different colour pencils because I feel like I can only use Prismacolor in these because... My other pencils tend to not really work well on the paper in this book. <laughs> in these books, actually, I want to go from the front because I feel like this is a storybook almost. So I feel like we need to go from the start. Um, so here is this page. So I would definitely do this completely different to how this looks now. <laughs> so this is kind of why I was really wanting a second copy so that when eventually I finish this book and the other two, which, you know, is going to be some long time in the future, or I fancy I just want to do this page again, I can just, without having finished this book, I can just go to the next one. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do that. So I use watercolour pencils, I think, for everything, the Albert Durer ones. I do love my sky still, though. I did that with acrylic paint. I did a tutorial as well on how to do that. 
Um, I actually do still like the sky. I think the sky looks really cool. Although I think I'd maybe, how I did the stars, maybe not. <laughs> they look very, like, I've put them in, if you see what I mean. They don't look very natural. Um, but yeah, I definitely would do all of that. All of this very different. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but it's fun. Oh, and here's some more food. I love colouring food. Again, this is like a buddy colour with KP. So that, this was quite a fun one. Again, I wouldn't mind just doing that just for the sake of colouring the food again. So I think I did this one with ink tents and the graphite graph tint. Um, this was a tutorial, uh, tutor a colour along video that I did on the channel. Um, the only thing, I, the thing is with this book is the paper time tends to peel when you use a lot of water. So this was fine using the ink tents and stuff, but if you use like watercolour stuff, I tend to find it peels the paper and then bleed through. So I think with the other book, like the Japanese editions, I think they may be a bit better. Oh, and I have this one, which I made this at like the Disney Castle <laughs> in Disneyland Paris because I freaking, I love Disneyland. Um, and I'm sad because twice now I've had to cancel my holiday to Disney World. So fingers crossed I'll make it next year. And the castle looks really pretty because I've done a paint job on it and it looks really nice. And it's the same colours as well. I think before it was kind of like a blue, the Cinderella castle was like a bluey grey uh, and but now they've painted it pink and blue and gold, so it's more or less like this one. Um, so yeah, I drew Tinkerbell in. She wasn't here originally, I drew her in. So this one I really enjoy doing and I like. And then this is a tutorial that I followed. Can't remember who, maybe Shirley X Way X, I think, might have been her. Use Prisma colours. Um, I do like how the sky is, but it looks really dull now. Like all the wax, I guess, is like, come. I don't know how to explain it. It still looks fine in the camera though, but... In real life, it looks a bit duller than what it was originally in the, in the sky area. Um, this is a whip. <laughs> I'm going to try and paint over that because <laughs> it looks awful. So um, I've done the well one. Um, oh, this is a recent one that I did. Man and Flowers. I really enjoyed doing that one. That was really fun. And she's got some cute little flowers in her stall. So this is an Easter one that quite some time ago very pastely oh there's a halloween one i still love this halloween one i love the plaid that's my favorite thing that i've done on the scarecrow and i can't remember how i did it now or what was in like what colors and things i used so don't think i could repeat it <laughs> i can attempt to but don't think i can repeat it again so i've got this christmas one where i drew the rest of the floor in and did like make it look like there's wallpaper behind um, I've got this lovely garden one that I've done and that might be actually everything I've done in that one. I think it is. So there's everything I've done in the first tail. Next we have the second tail. Um, I'm going to have to start making seconds. Second pile in a minute. I feel like the pile of books I've made is going to fall over. So here's the second tail. Again, I'm going to take you from the beginning because I just like doing that. And I think I do have, yeah, I've done this one. So again, I've done the same sky as I did the other one. Um, again, I would just do this grass completely differently. And I don't mind how the building is and things like that. And I think I would probably do a different colour scheme for the carriage. But, like, this was a while ago. So I've had these books for quite some time. They are sort of some of the older books that I've had. So my colouring is going to look quite different as to what it is now. Um, so, and even in the future, it will look different to what I even have it today currently. It's really, I'm going to be intrigued to see what, what I do. This is a Christmas page that I liked um, and really enjoyed doing. I love the colour scheme that I came up with. So I did gold, pink and like light purple, mostly gold and pink type colours because I thought that would look quite nice. So, again, I look forward to doing this a different colour scheme one day. One day I will. Um, have I done any more in between? Nope, so then I've got this one. And there's like a little bit of glitter on the wings of the fairy. She's got a little bit of winker cell on her. Um, and I drew the like fairy dust. I love the fairy dust, as you can see. It's quite, it's quite fun. 
I enjoy doing that. Um, I think I use some Albert Durer's like dry because I find they work quite nicely dry. The um, polychromos do not come out so great for me anyway, these. Um, so I think this is like one of the first pictures I did in the second tail. There was a lot going on. It took quite some time. And then I was like stuck to what colours to do, like her outfit. I was like, I don't know what colours to say. I feel like her outfit's very bright. Probably would change the outfit. I like the colours. I did the shelves and things though. Um, and the walls. But yeah, it was really tricky to figure out what colours to use. Um, so we got this Easter page which I really do like the look of as well. Again, I've gone for like a pastel thing, but um, I, I like the colours that I used. I think it looks really nice. And then I have this double page spread, which I did this year, and I enjoyed putting in my own bushes with some gouache paint. That was really fun and doing the background, and I like the colours that I chose as well. Um, this did take me a little while to do, though. <laughs> Um, and then I have this one of them cleaning the clock tower and I think I use some polychromos and I think with some ink tints as well but the polychromos you can just tell they just it looks kind of on the dull side they don't come out very bright I mean they're not like terrible by any means but I just don't feel like they work as well on here um so yeah oh and that's everything I've done in Romantic Country the second tale so next I have the third tale I don't think I've done anything recently in here though, so I don't think, I think because I did some, I did two in it last year, so I think because of that I was like, oh, you know, for whatever reason didn't, so there is lots of Winker Stella on the snow, but it's probably mostly rubbed off now, I can just, you can just see little bits of it, um, so yeah, there's that one, okay. Then I have this one, and I did put some like uh glittery like paint on the ice to kind of make it look shiny and on the snow as well, so that was quite fun. Here's an autumn themed one that I did a couple of years ago. Uh, I think I have used ink tents on that one. Ooh. Where is it? Here we go. The Sai Sari Use. Sariska Island. <laughs> I couldn't say it then. I was like, how do I say this? Um, I love the colour scheme that I did on that one. That was really fun. Then I've got this one, which I made to look like St. Basil's in Russia. Um, I've got, I don't even know how you say that. Use, use, <laughs> um, however you say that. Um, island. These are the these two pictures I did like together, kind of together. Like I did this one, and then I thought, oh, you know what, I'm gonna do this one. And then I thought it'd be quite nice to, because it's the island. This is like the colours, the island, like the the colours of the island. So then I brought over to this. I don't think I've done any more, sadly. As in, like any new pictures, I have got more pictures to show you though. There's this one again. Wouldn't mind me doing this one because it kind of went a bit wrong. <laughs> It still looks fine though, but it's not quite how what I was intending. Um, I have this springtime one where they're doing like a maypole. Um, and I've, oh, this is the recent one I did. So when it was Halloween, I did this one. So that was the last time I coloured in this book. So almost a year ago, quite a long time with all the different hats. I, I very much enjoyed doing that. I That was really fun. Um, yep, yeah, that's everything I've done in Romantic Country, the third tale. Now to the rest of Eerie's books. So I've got Trace Around the World History, no, Trace Around the World, sorry, I've got Trace Around the World History, but that's another book. Um, so I've done a couple in here, I have done one recently, Doo -doo. so here we go, and my first picture I did was Japan, um, and I think the rest are all in Europe. They seem they're all quite next to each other. So there's Finland. Um, is there Winkerstone Snow? Nope, there is not. I do drew the wood on the building there though. Um, and then I have Iceland, which was the latest one that I did. And then I've got Denmark, which I did last year. And then I've got Italy. Loved doing the food. I just I absolutely love the olive oil. It looks so pretty. Um 
I think that might be everything. Yep, that's everything for that one. Next, I have Trace Around the World His, his not History. Why do I keep wanting to say Trace Around the World History? Trace Around the World Festivals. Um, I don't think I've done anything new in this one. Although I really want to do one actually in it. So here's a Japanese festival, the one that I've done. Um, and I think the only other one I've done is St. Patrick's Day. I'm just checking in case I randomly did do one that I didn't know that I have done and forgotten. So St. Patrick's Day, that was the first one I did. I think it was around St. Patrick's Day. Got it. Yep, just two. Need to come back and do some more in that. Now I have Trace Around the World History. I have done some recent ones in this one. So I did this uh, parcel delivery service, like the Royal Mail type. One very basic one to do, but it was fun and enjoyable and I had a good time doing it anyway. Uh, I've got this Egypt one, which again, I rather enjoy doing. And then I think I've got maybe one more, which is just a beginning page. Let's travel around the world history. I've just got that, that one there. So that's everything from that one. Oh, I should put it on the floor. Um, okay, next is around the world. Maybe travels around the world. I, can, I don't know. I don't know what the title is and in English but it's her latest one of her latest ones and it doesn't have lines for you to trace um, but it's similar to the other ones world history theme she quite enjoys doing traveling books recently um, oh hold on there's a Christmas market oh, I did this Christmas so that would have been the last picture I probably did in there then I have this really cool um, Athena Greek page um, and I think I've done, oh yeah, English afternoon tea one as well. So that's everything I've done in that one. And then next I have her latest one, which is Beyond the World Fairy Tale. And I have done quite a few in this book, considering it's her latest one. I think I got it around Christmas time last year. Um, I've actually done quite a few in here because I really enjoy the pictures. I find, I, I just feel like they're easier to colour in some ways. So I've done Cinderella. She's got sparkles on her dress. And then we've got Puss in Boots. This was the first picture I did. Um, then I've got Sleeping Beauty. Again, you can see her trying to make her dress blue pink. <laughs> um, and then I've got a Little Mermaid one. Yeah, here's a Little Mermaid. I really love this one how it came out. I just, I love how the water came out. I think I used the Derwent and Lightfast and the Luminance pencils for this one. And oh, I just, I love how that one came out. So that was good. And then the last two, I've got the Wizard of Oz and the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> um, so I did both of these ones. Um, and there are stickles on the Dorothy's shoes. So I will no doubt be probably doing more in this one because I love all the pictures in it. I, don't, I think it's just because I find them a, a little bit easier to colour. Like I don't, sometimes I find you have to look up like what country it is, what colour things should be, or there's quite a lot of details. And I feel like I don't really have to do that so much with that one. Uh, the Mysterious Library, I have not coloured anything more in here. I've only got three pictures. This one... And this is an earlier book that I ate bought as well. Like I would say maybe within the first 20 books that I purchased. Um, so, oh, I forgot about doing this. So, um, yeah, obviously I would have done her. So this is how skin looked like when, and I was really proud of that at the time. Still am, considering I didn't really know what I was doing regarding skin. I thought it was quite good, actually. Um, and again, this I drew, I, I love these. I love doing this, drew that in. Um... I love the colour scheme that I did. So I really do like that picture. I think I think I used polychromos for that. Um, this was is the latest picture that I've done, which I did maybe like a year and a bit ago, like a year and a half ago, Rapunzel. So I do want to come back and do some more in here. I just, again, just haven't. I think I want to do this one. I think it would be quite nice to do Squash Sky. 
um, would be quite cool, but a lot of the buildings will uh, take some time to do. So there's Mysterious Library. Um, okay. Ugh. I'm slowly getting through my pile. We've only got four books left. And I think I... Mm, I was really hoping that I could just do three parts, but I have a lot of books left with a lot of pictures in. <laughs> we will see... Um, I really, really want to just do three parts. Okay, so this is a ballet, but there's a Japanese one. Um, so we have Clara and can't remember the name of the guy, but from the Nutcracker. <laughs> I think I have one other one in here that I've done. If I can find it. Oh, here we go. It's a costumes from Firebird and La Bayadere. So I still haven't coloured any more on here since you last saw this book. So I should probably do the Sleeping Beauty and Esmeralda. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, I haven't done any more on there. Still love ballet, by the way. Still do it. Um, here is The Time Garden by Darius Song. And I have done a recent picture in here because I had realised I'd only done one. So I have done this one. Um, I really liked using my acrylic gouache. I still need to work on trying to blend it a bit more because here's it's a bit of a harsh line. Better, easier, like easier. It looks better on this side. Um, so I like the colour scheme. I had a hard job trying to make the balloons look like balloons though. So they look a bit flat. I'm not, not sure, yeah, how I could have made that better, but Hopefully the time will get better. And then this is the only other page and this is the first one I've done. And can you believe I did this whole entire background in pencil? Yes, pencil, that's what I used to do back in the, in the old days of colouring. I use pencil backgrounds. I don't do that anymore because it takes too long. Um, so I, used, I think I used Prisma colours. So yeah, again, this is one of the slightly earlier books I had. I think the time chamber which is what i'm going to show you next that one was i had was within the first 10 books that i bought and then i bought this one not too long like maybe in the t in the last 30 i think i would have said i in the first 30 books i would have had that one so this is time chamber so this was the first one i had and it's the one i've done the most pictures in um and you can see that my style <laughs> has really changed this is a very early picture Again, all pencil background. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I don't. I think I've just even used one colour for her hair as well. Um, it's like it's not bad. Like the leaves are. I think I you know I quite like, and I like what I was doing here. So I you know, if I did again, I would just obviously do it a bit differently. But this is just how I coloured at the time, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think I used ink tents for all these things. So yeah, again, you can see uh, I would just do it a little bit differently. Um, here we go. I have the fairy lighting the lamps and they've got like little houses and stuff in. Um, mm -mm -mm. That might be everything. I was planning to try and do some more in this one and the other diary song book, but I just haven't I haven't got around to get it. Again, I feel like I have to feel in the mood to do them. If I don't feel in the mood, then what's the point in forcing myself to do it? So here's a night voyage. This one I've been trying to do in order. So oh no. Ah it's like the pages are coming out. Um so I did this one on Christmas Day, I think when I got the book a couple of years ago. So I'm trying to make it look like wrapping paper. And then I have this page. I am, I think in the original version, this is meant to be a Christmas tree, but for some reason in the English, is this the English edition? Yes. They decided to make it her birthday and not Christmas, which I don't get why. We have celebrate Christmas, so it would have been fine. Um, so yeah, that's everything I've done. Yep, everything I've done in that one. So again, nothing new there. Okay, I am going to leave the second part here. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Um, 
I will see how it goes for the third part, but I may have to do four parts of the video because this is an hour long and this wasn't even all of the second bookshelf. And there's a lot of pictures I have finished in those books. So um, anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are having an awesome day wherever you are and I will see you in the next bit. Bye.